This is a lesson on solving equations involving addition and subtraction. So now that you've learned how to create equations for problems using variables, it's time to use those equations to solve. So we're taking what we learned in our last lesson and using those equations to solve to figure out what number that, that variable equals. So here's an example. Gregory washed 72 windows in an apartment building. He had 98 windows to wash altogether. How many more windows does Gregory have to wash? Write an equation to solve the problem. So let's look here. Now for this example, I've written in red all of the stuff that you would be expected to write for a problem. The black is just more information um, to help you, to show my thinking for you. So, um, the first thing that we need to do is write our let statement so that we know what W equals. Now I chose W as my variable because we need to find out how many, how many windows Gregory has to wash. So W would be appropriate. Okay, so um, I wrote let W equal the number of windows Gregory still has to wash. Notice I did not just write the number of windows or just let W equal windows because each one of these numbers has something to do with windows. So it's, it doesn't make sense. W can't just equal windows because if it does, then W will equal this one, W will equal this one, and W will equal the one that we don't know. And that can't happen. So W has to equal the number of windows Gregory still has to wash. So basically, you're looking at the question it's asking and almost rewriting it. That's how you're doing your let statement. So um, down here, it says that we know that the total number of windows, which is 98, is equal to the windows already washed, which is 72, plus windows still be still to be washed. And that's W, because we don't know how many he needs to wash yet. So one equation we could write is 98 equals 72 plus W right? Because the number of windows that are total is equal to how many Gregory already washed plus how many more he needs to wash. So that's where I came up with that equation. There are other equations that you could have come up with using the number 98, the number 72, and the letter W, uh, but this is one of them. So to solve, you need to think, which number do we add to 72 to get 98? How do we make these two sides equal? Okay, so this is one way. Um, we can subtract to find out. Now you're thinking this is adding. That might be uh, impossible. Why would we subtract? Well, basically, we do the opposite of what this is to the other side when W is not by itself. So to find out what W is, we can subtract 98 and 72. So if I take 72 windows away from the 98 that Gregory washed, we will find out how many more he needs to wash. So that's down here. I've got that 98 minus 72 equals W. And then if I answer that, I've got 98 minus 72, that equals 26. Okay, so W equals 26. And this one, you don't necessarily have to, have to, um, Right. You could leave that part out and just write 98 minus 72 equals W, and then you could write W equals 26. Up to you. Okay, so that is how you would answer that. Now, this was a story problem, and we always answer story problems with a sentence. So, here is my sentence. Gregory has 26 more windows to wash. Simple but to the point. It answers how many more he needs to wash. So remember to write your story sentence as well. Now below we've got a practice. So what you need to do is answer A, um, which is just solving, no problem involved, and then B has a story problem. So B you're going to have to figure out the equation and then solve it. So pause now, and then we'll go through it together. 
Okay, so now that you've come up with an answer um, for at least A, now we can go through together. So it has 50 subtract some number, and that will equal 19. So to find out what I need, um, I could subtract 19 from 50, right? Because... This, this number, B, plus 19 will equal the total. So if I flip those around and say 15, or 50 minus 19 is equal to B, then, oops, then um, all I need to do is subtract. So um, I can, I can think, um, 19 is almost 20, so I can go 50 subtract 20 is 31, and then one more. I mean, 50 subtract 20 is 30, and then one more is 31. So, uh oh, what's going on here? Here we go. 31 equals B. So you should have got 31 is equal to B. And we can check that too to see if our answer is co correct. If we're not sure, we can pluck that 31 in place of B. So 50 minus 31, does it equal 19? Well, let's solve. So uh, 31 is almost 30. So 50, mi the 50 minus 30 would be 20. And then subtract one more would be 19. So if these two numbers equal when you solve solve both sides, then you know that you found the correct answer. Now, if you haven't answered uh, B, please pause and then uh, play again when you're ready. Now, if you are ready and you've solved the equation, then let's go through it together. So here are some things that we know. Um, we know that Lucy gave away 16 small chocolate bars to her friends and that she had 38 chocolate bars to begin with. What we need to know is how many chocolate bars does Lucy have left. So, first we need to write our let statement. So, let, let C equal the number of chocolate bars Lucy has left. Okay, remember, notice I didn't say just chocolate bars or number of chocolate bars. The fact that it's how many she has left that we don't know is important. Okay, so there's our let statement. Now we need to come up with an equation. So um, we have 16 and 38 and how many she has left. So we could say that um, she had 38 chocolate bars to start. And we could say um, that is equal to 16 that she gave out plus the um, ones that she still has, and we don't know that yet. So that's our C. Okay, you could have also written 38 minus 6, oops, minus 16 is equal to C. Okay, either way you're going to be subtracting 16 to, from 38 to find out your answer. So, um, and if you, if, you, if you can't do that quite in your head, you can always write one number on top of the other to solve. So I'll do that over here just to show you. So we have 38 minus 16. We've got 8 minus 6, which is 2, and 3 minus 1, which is 2. So C would equal 22. And don't forget to write your um, sentence. And there's mine. Lucy has 22 chocolate bars left. And that's all you have to do. So a lot of explaining for something that you can do pretty easily in your head once you get the hang of it. So what you need to do is try the assignment on page 24 and 25, um, numbers 1 to 7.